Hold on, y'all. Let me put these pants in real fast. I'm in a rush. Just got out of the shower. And I'm running kind of late. I got an interview. Yep, that's right. The homie, no cash. Don't be having much cash. And so I'll be having things to do with my life to make things better for me and my family, right? So, I'm getting myself together. Oh, first I want to start it off. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to do that. Give me one minute. I'm in a rush. I ain't thinking straight. Just sit down on my second. Hello, everybody out there in YouTube world. I am the homie no cash. Yep, the one and only. If there's another, he is the phony because you already know me, and I'm here today, man. I'm getting myself together right now real fast. I'm running late, but I didn't want to mess up the opportunity to let y'all see that regardless of what's going on in my life, how things are transpiring in my life, you still got to aim to be productive, right? Okay, so I do have a YouTube channel, right? I am about to drop music um, and be the best entrepreneur that I can be. But sometimes, sometimes you need to get you a job or something on the side, right? So this job right here is very purpose-filled. It's very meaningful to me in my life. It's about helping others like I like to do. So, you know, I have an acronym that says, I honor my mom and my pop. Mom for me stands for morals over money, all right? And, and pop for me stands for purpose over paper, all right? So if it's purpose-filled, and if it's filled with morality, then I'm all for it, all right? So I need the extra help myself. And so I'm going this morning to, for a job interview because my baby, shouts out to Isha, she took me out filling out some applications when she was here. And she made sure that I leave the application instead of take it with me, bring it with me, and take it home and fill it out. She sat there with me and filled it out with me. And I'm glad that she did because the people called me back and they said we need, they needed for me to be in 10.30 on Tuesday. Well, that's today. And so I'm getting myself geared up right now to go to a job interview, y'all. Yep, that's right. The homie no cash is about to be working because I have a wife in my life now. We're building a future. And yes, I do have a YouTube channel and I'm all about entrepreneurity and working for yourself. But sometimes you need to do side hustles, side jobs to kind of get you where you think you need to be, especially if you have time. And so my baby made me realize I got time. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to be getting myself together in here this morning to go for a job interview y'all that's right thanks to my baby Isha Graham you know I want to let y'all know something when you got people in your life that believe in you who inspire you encourage you and influence you to go and do better that's the people who you need to be around more those are the people who you need to keep in your company those are the people who you need to value right now, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to have some people in your life who are going to think, who you're going to think mean you some good or who you're going to want to mean you some good. It may be a family member. It may be a close friend that you desire certain attributes from, right? But I'm here to tell you today, you can't look for these attributes in the people who you want them to come from. You have to look for these attributes where they're coming from. All right. So what that means is a lot of times in your areas where you from or in your family, people who are familiar with you, who know you, you see family and familiar. They are uh, they, they spell almost the same because family are most familiar with you. And sometimes they will judge you. Sometimes they know you the most um, as far as what your past history uh, consists of. So they tend to hold that over you. They never let you live that down to go into your future or into your destiny, right? And it's those who don't know you, those who are your, uh, you know, strangers, so if you will, people who you don't know, they'll be more apt to embrace you and see you for who you're evolving into, not for where you once was. And I just want to leave y'all with this to say, um, Isha came into my life only two months ago, all right? And how tore up I was, I'm still that same person. How distorted I was, she knows the true me. 
um, how good I am, you know, the, the, the skills that I have, the talents that I have, my pluses, she also knows those. And so when you're trying to make it with someone, if you can't be open and honest with them and let them see the true you, all right, the good and the bad, and let them make a decision, then um, you're kind of cheating them. So I just want to say, I'm going to be opening my, my y'all know my life is already an open book, but I'm going to be opening up my life even more when um, Isha moves down here because she's in agreement with it. I think that we have a matrimony that needs to be seen. It's not fake. You know, um, we're going to have our natural issues and problems and situations that we're going to be working through. And I think that I know that I love her enough to work through it. She tells me that she loves me enough to work through it. And we're just going to take on the challenge. You know, a lot of people like to choose the road of least resistance. Well, it's a lot of resistance on this road that I'm on, including I'm an entrepreneur with my own YouTube channel with 200,000 subscribers. But here it is. I'm getting dressed this morning to go and for an interview. All right. So I'm here to show y'all. Regardless of what you do, you got to do all that you got to do until you get yourself in a predicament where you can get out of what you're in on your own strength. Do not let nobody feel like you need them. And if, if you are hungry, do not depend on nobody else to feed you. Because I'm here to tell you I did that. And when you depend on someone to feed you, that same someone can starve you. All right? So, I just wanted to leave y'all with this message right here this morning as I got dressed for my job interview that the homie, no cash, that don't have really no cash, is going to get another job this morning. And I want y'all to pray for me. Pray for my uplifting, not my downfall. Pray for my uh, productivity, for my progression. Pray for, my, for things to come to fruition for me in my future. And as I be blessed... Y'all can rest assured, all of my cashiers out there, I will be blessing you all back. Um, once I land this job and I can get things comfortable on my home front and in my bank account, I'm going to start doing giveaways. I'm going to start rewarding um, my fans, my number one fans who reach out and show me their love, send me emails, like, hit the like button, who are commenting. The ones of you all who just make me really, really feel your presence, just stay tuned because i got you in mind and I'm going to have some great contests and great, great giveaways coming up. But just bear with me, man. I'm trying to get my life. I'm striving, my bad, excuse me. I'm striving to get my life where it needs to be and on track so that I can be what I need to be for me first, for my kids, and for my family. And then therefore, my extended family, y'all know I got y'all right here in my left titty. So I'm going to get myself up out of here this morning and get on to this job. Y'all say a prayer for me. Keep a positive energy for me because I really want to land this. Um, I think that if I get this job, I know that if I get this job or when I get this job, it's going to help me in my life in a tremendous way. Um, it's going to also help my wife and my family and my kids. So y'all just pray for me, man. I'm getting myself together to get on up out of here. And I want y'all to know that this too shall pass. No matter what you're going through in your life, change your thought process, which will change the way that you speak about it which will change the things that you're doing, which is your actions, which will change your character, and that will determine your destiny. Once again, I am the homie No Cash, signing off with a big tinfo, over and out. Peace and love. Y'all stay well and be blessed and stay prayed up and say a prayer for me that I land this job because with this job, my YouTube channel, and all of the productivity and progression that God is going to bestow upon me and my family, I'm going to the top. And I will be a big entrepreneur. This job is just only temporary for me. All right? Y'all stay tuned because the best is yet to come.